Better than nothing. Oh, joy. Hallelujah. Welcome back to our North Island adventure. This is part two of our story. Join us as we find more unique places to ride and learn more about our new friends. Well, it is the morning of day three. We're uh, almost all packed up here at the Atluck Lake Rec site. Pretty nice evening, super chill and quiet. I did sleep a bit better last night. I wasn't cold, so that was nice. Um, I think today's plan is to ride the old railroad that mainly goes along the highway. And we're gonna go through Port Hardy and some other little towns. And hopefully go to the farthest north you can ride on Vancouver Island. So let's see what that turns out like. It's a nice sunny day again so far. It should be a good time. Today's plan is to ride as much of the Englewood Railway bed as we can. It dates back to 1917. When decommissioned, it was the last rail logging operation in North America. Western Forest Products ceased operations of the rail line in 2017 after an accident between runaway log cars that collided with a maintenance car, killing three workers. We leave Wass headed northeast and cross several bridges before finding our progress blocked only 20 kilometers into our ride. Simon quickly finds a detour that I personally very much enjoyed.
Where are we going, Steph? To Shusharti Bay! Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the northernmost point you can drive to on Vancouver Island, Shusharti Bay. A whole lot of nothing out here, but it's beautiful. Hi! I had a sneaky feeling! <laughs> okay, so what's your idea here? Are you gonna turn around and go back down there and get us another run at it? Or? Uh, well, I'm trying to re-strap everything. I had to take everything off just to lift the bike up. Yeah. But uh, okay, well, it's about to tip over if I put another bag on. How about... Uh, okay, well, I'll stop this first. Your best bet... Yeah. Is to, while it's still light, go down, turn around, come up yeah. till about the threshold yeah, where you can right see there. the corner. Not in here, just before it. Okay. So you'll have a little bit more momentum. Oh, I see, to get up the, there. Get up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I got stuck in neutral on the way up. So. No worries. <laughs> and then slid down. <laughs> your switch gear is binding on your clutch, that's why. The which? Your switch gear, it had yeah. rocked. That way you can't pull the clutch in. Oh. If you do this, then it can go full stroke. Oh, okay. I think that might be your bow. Oh, that'd be nice. Oh, hi. <laughs> it's gonna feel bad. <laughs> oh. There you go. All right. Thank you. No We're gonna get. She just lost momentum and fell over. We're gonna get her turn around, then we'll put the bag on while they're pointing uphill. Yeah. yeah. You okay? Oh yeah, I'm okay. All right. Oh, I'm like, sorry. Oh. You know what? I thought everyone was waiting, and then they all came. Yeah. Well, yeah. we asked her three times if she was sure. She said she was sure. I was. And then we got to the top and I said, no. pretty brutal <laughs> climb to leave a newer rider on. So I came back. Okay. Just, yeah, best to always just run the motor and gently caress it into gear. It's yeah. just moving forward. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's just, flooded. it's flooded because it was lying on its side for so long. Hey. As soon as everyone showed up, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Well, Steph should still be up at the, the junction She's waiting for She's sitting there at the tee, yeah. yeah. We'll load you back up. Okay. Thanks for coming. You're very welcome. <laughs> Helping me out. Oh, uh, group motto should never leave anyone behind. Oh, yeah. Oh, I guess I shouldn't weave people away. I was like, I'll be fine. That's, of course, when I drop my bike. Oh, that's why we have that system in place for stopping. Mm-hmm. So you know when someone's overdue. Yeah. Besides, it makes for good YouTube drama.
goes up for waterfalls. <laughs> Welcome to Georgie Lake Wreck Site. We got four of them, two tents to a site. And it's supposed to rain tonight, so we've got some tarps set up. We are camping with John next door. And we got Mladen and Clay over here. Ooh, you got an onion going. And then over here, we've got Paxton, Jordan, and PJ. What's on the menu for tonight? Baked potato. Baked potato. So is it gonna smoke a lot of weed? And, and puffball mushrooms. Puffball mushrooms? Yeah, that's why I stayed behind. We're actually oh, forged. right. <laughs> you foraged. Yeah, foraged. She Let's... just actually picked these mushrooms out of the forest. Oh. Puffballs. We're going to make them with steaks. Mushrooms? You can eat those things? Actually, yeah. yeah, you actually can. They're delicious. Little They're nuggets. Nice. Forest nuggets. Forest yeah. nuggets. Mmm. <laughs> sure there's some forest nuggets you don't want to eat. Hey, Jordan? Just before we make it to Holberg, we turn right and ride up the road leading to Knob Hill Plateau. Home to one of BC's newest wind farms, a facility made up of 55 windmills, 80 meters tall. Ironically, we find the gate closed and locked and North Island visibility in full effect. The visual effect was unworldly. Ghosts on the hillside in an alpine forest. Does that go? Where are we? We're in Holberg, the mighty metropolis of Holberg. Uh, apparently, the pub doesn't open till three, so we're gonna go see some other delightful sites out here in the cold, wet West Coast. This is the booming town of Holberg. So we are at the uh, general store of Holberg, which also sells gas and jerry cans and some stuff. John. How's the day so far? So far, it's, it's fantastic. Yeah? Yeah. We're Sweet. gonna get some regular gas. And we're gonna go and see Ronnie's garden. Ronnie's garden. Is that Ronnie, that dinosaur behind you? Oh, that's Blinky. This Blinky? Yeah. Hi, Blinky. Okay. Scotty might have some bike issues. Really? But all is good. Kickstand issues. Kickstand sure. issues, of course. Get all bent up, but that's gone. Scotty has the most aesthetically pleasing kickstand. <laughs> Look at that. So... Tippy toe. Norwegian settler Bert Ronning established his homestead in 1910, near the end of the San Joseph Wagon Road. In the next 50 years, he created a five acre exotic garden from seeds and cuttings from around the world. Almost lost to the rainforest, it has been saved by a hard-working group of volunteers. The sun is up. Spike. Where do you want to go? Yeah, I don't want to tear up the grass. This many bikes to tear it up. This is the loop anyways, we're already there. Mm. Mm. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. 
welcome to Ronning's Garden. Shall we go take a stroll? Absolutely. Monkey puzzle trees. It's huge. Bamboo. Yeah, because we're both fucking lost. <laughs> well, there we go. I'll put a donation in for the. Uh, Scotty, don't move. There's a Sasquatch right behind you. Oh, yeah. Running, Gary, they fucked him. And his little brother just showed up to give him a pat on the head. <laughs> yeah. And stuff and kind of a magical little field trip. Mm -hmm. It's like Happy Buddha. Or a tractor or a truck stop and never went through. Looks like a tractor, yeah. Even a battery down here. How much that has one of these old like hundred and fifty old tractors. So you see it. Part of the frame's still there. Actually most of the frame is still there. Appears though they've deactivated the bridge. I don't know if the wreck site was on the other side, but uh, Stephanie's found a trail and we're gonna walk down to the beach. It's like our west coast jungle. Look at this trail. Super muddy. But you can hear the ocean. So, another adventure. Always a good adventure with my friend Scott. Oh, you're too kind. Not always good, but we try our hard. It's always an adventure. <laughs> well, isn't that the whole point of all this? This, this is actually Simon's adventure. I'm just along yeah. for the ride. I found the best seat!
free and paid for free already, which there's one more available. You got to do it online. Jordan's trying to do it, but it's still only four places. So maybe one more person up the hill. Or group. Well, I'm getting three to four people per person. Uh, have a look. I don't know. But this one doesn't mean that bit. Seems to get in the way of the giant loop, but it's kind of it's handy for so many traffic points. 